East Coast Marina boasts 330 secure berths. It caters for boats up to 18 metres and there's an impressive modern undercover 240 boat dry storage facility. Dave acquired Georgia Rose just a short while back. He's had plenty of experience with a motor cruiser, but not much sailing experience. After their delivery trip up from the Gold Coast, where they struck a couple of sandbars and had to be dragged off, they gave me a call and said, would you come up and give us a hand? Uh, because we're new to sailing and we could use a few tips. I was more than happy to do that and we had a great day out in the water. Doing the wrong thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big learning curve really and uh, just lost the nerves now so I'm just happy and where I'm going. Just looks like a bit more breeze. But, uh, I'll bring the nerves back again. <laughs> Sailing Georgia Rose, we're out in Moreton Bay, beautiful day. We've got uh, some uh, skilled crew members here learning how to sail the boat. The waters of Moreton Bay are sheltered from large swells by Moreton Island and North Stradbroke Island, and that makes it a perfect place for a shakeout sail in this neatly restored Swanson 36 that was recently bought by Dave, assisted by his mate Dave. I'll let you work out who is who. A few years back, I was fishing quietly with a mate just off Caloundra when the radio crackled to life. Fishing boat in the vicinity of Pier Number blah blah blah. I went about retrieving the anchor calmly until I discovered that it was well and truly lodged in the reef below. My calm demeanour quickly turned to sheer panic and I had a knife in hand when it finally came free. Once underway, we made a sharp turn to port only to find that the freighter followed us around the curve of the channel in that spot. Another sharp turn to port got us safely out of the way as she cruised past at a huge rate of knots. The commercial shipping moves very, very quickly and you've really got to stay on your toes. Around 1950, the first Swanson yacht was built by Jim and Ken in Brother Allen's backyard at Bankstown, Sydney, New South Wales. The Swanson brothers emerged from the 1950s as yachties who could not only sail, but who could also design and build yachts in the days when most yacht designers weren't professionally trained. Cadence, a Carmen class yacht built by the Swanson brothers, won the 1966 Sydney Hobart, and second was another Swanson yacht, Salome, a 33-foot one-tonner. It was a well-timed breakthrough with the 10 years from 1965 to 1975, witnessing an explosion of fiberglass yachts, such as the Endeavours, the Tritons, the Klansmen, the Coles and Compass, just to name a few. Georgia Rose is a beautifully refitted Swanson 36, designed and built in solid fibreglass in 1980 by the Swanson brothers. She's perfect for blue water passage making and completely refitted recently by a very skilled boat builder. The U-shaped galley to starboard has a stone look moulded bench top. Forward of the galley to starboard the saloon drops to convert to a double berth with a settee opposite to port. The owner's cabin is forward of the ensuite with a double Pullman berth to starboard. There's an additional sleeping accommodation with a cosy quarter berth port aft. Launched in 1980, Georgia Rose is a coastal or blue water cruising classic suitable for single-handed sailing or a cruising couple. She's 36 feet long, has a beam of about 10 and a half feet. She draws about six feet with her fin keel arrangement and she's powered by a 29 horsepower Yanmar diesel and can cruise comfortably around 6 knots under power. <laughs> 